What's happening guys? Welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to the channel. Got my good friend Andres over here with his B48 2017 F30 and he's got those beautiful LCI LED headlights that I'm so jealous about. But what we've decided to do here today is I don't have all of the features that he has on his car that you can code with Beamer code. So I figured I would bring him out here, kind of introduce you to his car, show you kind of what he has done and we're gonna code some things. So on the front, he's got the M Performance splitter and then obviously the LED LCI lights that come stock in that car. And then he also did the all blacked out grill. He also did like a vinyl tint on the top of the headlight, which I think actually looks really cool on the mineral gray. So he's got the grill, he's got the splitter. He's got, yep, he's got the deflector delete. Yeah, and this is made by IND. I used to have the same one on my car when I actually had that spot for it. However, my new bumper doesn't have that. And then he's also got the carbon fiber M style mirror caps, which I no longer have and you guys are very upset at me about. And <laughs> he's got, are you running 15 millimeter spaces all around? Uh, no, it's 12 and a half in the front, 15 in the back. So he's running 12 and a half millimeter spacers on the front and 15 millimeter spacers on the back. And the reason I find this interesting is because I used to have the same setup. However, I can no longer run that because I have aftermarket wheels. So we actually have the same setup as far as spacers on the front, but the back had to change because mine's a nine and a half. And I believe you're eight and a half all around. Eight in the front, eight and a half in the back. Eight in the front, eight and a half in the back. So that's why. And his car is not lowered either. So who knows what would happen when that, when that goes down. Right. So he also did the black vinyl roof wrap, which I have as well, and I'm gonna tell you right now, everyone should do it to their car because it just makes it look so much better. And then he also has the same rear carbon fiber splitters that I have on my bumper, as well as the lit. Uh, yours is different though, right? Yeah, so a lot of people ask me about this. This is the M4 style rear splitter okay. uh, for the F30 and okay. F80. Okay, so it's just a little bit different than mine. It's almost like a little more subdued, I would say, right? Like if I look at mine next to yours, it looks like yours is just a little bit thinner than mine. Yeah, just slightly different design, but they're really, really similar. But they are very, they're, they're both extremely similar. So in the back of the car, he's running the dual exhaust, like 335i setup. It's an M Performance exhaust with black tips. Looks super good. This is actually a 330, so it comes with the same style as mine, but he did the upgrade to have the dual tip, which in my opinion looks awesome. So he's also got the M Performance rear diffuser, similar to mine, but his is not carbon fiber. And then he also did the vinyl tint on the rear reflectors, which in my opinion looks so much better on a darker car versus my car. And that was kind of why I took mine off. I think on the darker car, the the reflectors when they're they're darkened like that just look way better. Um, and then you also have tint, right? Yeah, we have 35%. So 35%, which is, dude, that's crazy. Right. So he has 35% and I can like, I can see right through it. I have 40% and you can't see anything into mine. I think it's the interior. So if you look in mine, this is 40% and I have the black leather interior, and you really can't even see into it. It looks closer to like, I don't know, a 20%, something super dark. And if you look at his, he's running 35, and you can see into it. But to be honest with you, dude, I don't, I don't hate that. I actually like, I actually like um, a lighter tint. I think it's a more like mature approach to it. And then he's got the badge down here on the side skirts. So it's clean, super clean car and he's gonna be doing a lot more to it. And he's got the B48 engine, and I believe Pro Tuning Freaks is working out a boot mode tune for this engine as we speak. Um, we've been seeing things on the Instagram about the B58 and the B48, so it should be interesting to see what happens here in the next few months. Look at that behemoth. 
there's so much less room. We were talking about this yesterday at the car show. There's so much less room in this engine bay compared to mine. Like it feels like in my engine bay, there's almost like stuff missing. But in this one, it just looks like they packed it all in. So the differences in the engines, I have the N20, he has the B48. Uh, my car has 240 horsepower and 255 foot-pounds of torque. And his B48 has 248 horsepower and 258 foot-pounds of torque. So it's really not that big of a difference. I thought there was more of a difference between the engines. I really didn't know that they were that close. Apparently, I don't know how to shut a hood on a F30. Aha. All right, so now we're gonna hop in the car and I have some ideas of things that I want to code into his car because he has way more features in his car than I do on mine. And so that's why you guys have been commenting on some videos like make this video, make that video, and I haven't been able to because quite simply my car doesn't allow those functions. So now that we have a newer car here, his F30, we're going to code some things in. Also, you guys, look at how this guy cleans his car. His carpets are like immaculate. I don't even want to sit in this thing. I feel like I'm going to just ruin your your beautiful detailing job. All right, so we just hopped into his car and he's got the updated screen. Dude, it looks so good. So I definitely have to upgrade to that. That's something that I've wanted for a while and you guys have kind of been pressuring me I into it. I have iDrive 5. So I don't know how different it is from yours. <laughs> it's way different. I don't have any of this. With the split screen option. Oh, dude. And there's. I need this. I need this in my car. We also just figured out you can literally just rub your finger on top of it and it moves around the navigation. I wonder, does it do it for anything else I or just that? I you could watch this. Oh, you can draw in. Oh my God, that's awesome. B. No way. C. K. S. That is pretty cool. That is really cool. <laughs> Carpool Karaoke. <laughs> All right, on this episode of Carpool Karaoke. All right, so Beamer Coat, we're gonna do some Beamer Coat stuff on his car. And if you guys are unfamiliar with Beamer Coat at all, make sure you check out this video. It talks about the ins and outs of Beamer Coat and kind of everything that you need to get started. He's gonna go ahead and put the Bluetooth dongle into the OBD2 port so we can connect our phone to the ECU and uh, and use Beamer Coat. Also, fun fact, he was my first subscriber ever on this channel. And what are you at now? <laughs> um, uh, 6,000 and like 600 or something. All right, so we are going to code in the startup animation, um, the M, I just, does it say M performance? I think it's just I think they M. just call it M startup animation. So we're gonna code that in. He actually already has it in his car, but this is a video that I've wanted to do for a while and I cannot do it on my head unit. So we're gonna use his. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to do it and kind of what it looks like. Once you guys get into Beamer code, you're gonna wanna head over to head unit and then you'll see right under display options, iDrive system, start animation, and you can decide between all of these. There's Alpina, BMW 1, BMW 2, BMW i, Christmas. I don't even know what that is. Do you know what that is? <laughs> no. Okay, we're coding it just to see. Connected drive 1, connected drive 2, M, Mini, Rolls Royce. So he's- Make this a Rolls Royce. <laughs> okay, fine. Well, I wanna see what the Christmas one is first. So let's see, he's on M currently, and uh, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna try, we're gonna try Christmas. We're gonna do Christmas just to see if it works. Cause if it has anything to do with like Tesla Christmas, like I don't think it does, but like what if my it mirror, did? My mirrors are gonna fold <laughs> and like, so cool. my lights are gonna. <laughs> That'd be so cool. So after you guys, you guys hit the code in, um, just wait for it to reset the ECU and it might throw up a bunch of errors and stuff, but um, it's fine, It's that's totally normal. All right, so after that, the coding is complete and what we're gonna do is we're gonna step out of the car, lock it, turn everything off, and then come back in and restart it and I will show you guys what the Christmas startup animation looks like. We're gonna try the Rolls Royce one now and see what that looks like. Whoa, Whoa that is awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> All right, so we just did the Rolls Royce one as you saw and it's super cool. Uh, we really like that one. We just actually decided we're gonna go through and like do them all. Um, I haven't seen any, any of the other ones, have you? Um, like the Alpina no. and stuff? No, I don't know. So let's just start with Alpina. That one's pretty cool. I like that.
Cool. Nice. Mini. Oh, we already got this one. All right, so we coded everything that we could, but I wanna get some exhaust clips from you guys because he has a 330 with a 340i dual exhaust tip set up. This is the M Performance exhaust, and I just want you guys to hear it. I think I'm actually gonna do some exhaust sounds of mine so we can compare his and my exhaust setups. really like the way that his sounds um, we're gonna do he's jumping in my car and he's gonna he's gonna do mine as well so they both sound really good <laughs> they have like they have such a unique sound like they both have such a their own like sound to them it's cool though. It's definitely cool to hear. All right, so we decided that I have my GoPro with me and I also have the mount for this Canon camera in my car. So we're actually, we're gonna do a little race. We're gonna do a little race of my car versus his car. He, like I said, he does not have a tune or anything. They actually don't even have the tune ready for the B48, but it'll be interesting to see what the 328i versus the 330i, what the, uh, what the you know, which one's faster, which one's, <laughs> one's gonna smoke which one <laughs> but I have boot mode and I have a bunch of stuff done in this car and his is basically stock except for the is that an, it's an axle back right yeah yeah except for the axle back so so we'll see we'll see but we're gonna we're gonna jump in the cars and we're gonna make a race happen right now Yeah, let's give it a go right here. So he used launch control on that one and he smoked me. Um, I'm gonna try, we're, we're both gonna try launch control. Three, two, one. So we're gonna try it again. I didn't actually use launch control, I just spun out the entire time. We're gonna try and use launch control. in Mexico doing this right now just so all of you know um, we took a quick drive down to Mexico to make these races happen so
cool to see the difference between the B48 stock and a tuned 328. But you know what? Um, it's not that surprising because I do have a lot done to this car. I'm actually more impressed by him being almost completely stock and being able to catch up. So, or keep up, I should say. So what will be really cool is when he gets that car tuned. Once he gets that car tuned and boot mode comes out with a tune for it, and we can run these together to really see how the tune affects, that's that's the best part. Because now we know, we know where the baseline is. We know where the kind of standard is with his being stock and mine being tuned. 20 minutes. 20 minutes of recording. So if any of you guys are interested, this is the Carolina Fast 4 um, camera mount for the GoPros. I'll put a link to his Instagram, and if you guys want one, uh, just hit him up and he'll make one for you. So I think I'm gonna change all my decals to these. It's almost like they're a matte, like, not a matte, they're like a, yeah, they're like a gloss, like black, but they shine. Like they have all these crazy Looks colors in them. Yeah, it's crazy. It goes really well with your mineral though. So we got the race done, reigning champ. <laughs> but it's interesting to see the difference between the B48 and the N20 with me having the tune and all the parts that I've done, and his is basically stock. So once he does the tune, we can compare again and see how much of a difference it actually makes in the actual performance of the vehicle. Anyways, thanks man for letting no me uh, borrow your car. If you guys want to follow him on Instagram, it's that F30 at that F30. I'll put his Instagram info down below if you guys want to give him a follow. Please do subscribe if you're new to the channel. Like this video, comment down below, hit that bell notification. Just like that, this video is over. I'm out. Peace.